Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. So today our text comes from Colossians chapter 3. And what I was thinking about, as crazy as it's going to sound, is what kind of reminded me of this passage this morning is one of our dogs. Um, it just, uh, he, he, when he comes to you, he just kind of sits down. He looks at you with this, just such love in his eyes. Like just, I love you. And just wants to be petted and want to be cared for and things like that. And I know you think that sounds really strange. How do we apply that to a biblical passage? But in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 uh, through 5, we'll read that together this morning. Read these words. It says, I'm sorry, actually, um, verse 4, 1 through 4. It says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on the things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Now you might be thinking, where in there do we see anything about a dog? Well, honestly, we don't necessarily. But what I find interesting here is that passage right there, in particular in verse 2, where the Lord says this, if we're risen with Christ, he starts with in verse 1, right? Uh, then, then seek those things which are above. In other words, here's the deal. Okay, if we know Christ, then we should be looking for what Christ wants, seeking the things that Christ would desire, right? And the things that are above. And then he goes on and says in verse 2, set your affection on the things above, not on the on the earth. So in other words, our affection, our, 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 our um, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I just drew a blank on my on my words in my mind there, guys. But our affections, you know what affections are, right? What you, what you really kind of go, at, what you desire is the biggest thing, right? And it's like, and you just kind of look at those things above. Is, is that what you really desire in this life? Are you setting your affections on the Lord himself, on what is above? The same way that my dog comes up to me, sits down next to me and just looks at me like, I love you so much. Just pet me and I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. We'll play however you want to play, whatever the case may be. Are we setting our affections on the Lord like that? Not not like in the sense that... that, that uh, that it's all just about that. But the point of the matter is, is you understand that that's where our heart should be. We should be looking at him and following him and desiring him. So our, lo our eyes should almost have a longing look for the Lord Jesus Christ, not on the things of the earth. The reason why I think so many people are struggling during this time period in, in which we're facing not only just in an, in an, as a nation, but even globally, is the fact that we're setting our affections on the things that are of the earth. We're setting our thing, our affection on the things that are of the earth. Uh, we're, we're talking about what matters to us here. Well, it matters to me my personal comfort. It matters to me my, you know, my space. It matters to me my freedoms. It matters to me my blah blah blah. Instead of setting our affections on the things that are above, we're setting our affections on the things that are below. And so if we put our eyes on Jesus, set our affections on Jesus, then we're satisfied as long as we're with Jesus. Which is why he said in verse 3 and 4, he says, For if ye are dead, and your life is hid, and your life is hid with Christ in God, when Christ, who is our life, kind of the way that our dogs look at us sometimes, our pets look at us, like I, I, you're my life. I'm so excited when you're around, you know. I, I just want to be around you and I just want to hug you or, you know, I want to be petted by you. I want, I want to lay on your lap or whatever the case may be. You know, I'm so excited about you. And when we're hid with Christ, when our life is with Christ, we're dead to ourselves. Christ, who is our life, that affection, that what are we thinking about, shall appear. Then shall we also appear with him in glory. Because we'll be able to glorif be glorified at that point. We'll be able to be excited about the fact that Christ is returning. I think mean, there's so many people right now who talk about the excitement of Christ's return, not recognizing that if Christ returned today, would he find you doing so? Would you be that faithful servant, that one who would actually be excited about his return? Or would you be kind of like that dog who maybe while you were gone got in the garbage? And then when you get home, they're first excited to see you, but then they realize you're going to see the garbage. And they know they're going to be in trouble. So the point of the matter is, get the garbage out of your life, quit getting in the garbage, and set your affections on the things above. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.